Anonymous question here is, as I have a SharePoint, uh, I have SharePoint online for the lists. When should I use configure layout versus customize with power apps? Yeah, that another great question. Um, and initially with SharePoint online and power power apps, the answer was anytime you need it to not look like a SharePoint form. Uh, but now they've given us some great tools with the JSON, with the ability to uh, configure the layout, move the fields around. Um, so the simple answer is if you just need to move the fields around to make it look, put them in the right order, make them look a little more like a paper form and a little less like a straight up and down pile of, of fields, uh, just use the JSON. It's super easy. You can uh, click the little learn more button at the top of the of the the form and it'll it'll give you the json all you have to do is tweak it a little bit uh, it's super easy uh, when you want to get into a little bit more uh more customization than that you want to add like show and hide verse you know based on if the one drop down has a choice show this field or don't show this field you can still do some of that in json it gets a little more complex um, I, I see the looks when you add the JSON on, and I was scared of the JSON at first until I started copying and pasting it and realizing how really truly easy it is. Uh, the other the other amazing benefit with the JSON side is if you literally just have a handful of fields that you need to be read only, or you just need to throw a title or you want to categorize, you know, this section is for the employee, this section is for the manager, this section is for HR to fill out. The, the JSON makes all of that super easy. You put read-only fields or a title up in the header and the footer, or down in the footer, and, and they're read-only, so the users can't fill them in. And those are great for history fields, you know, like approval history, or um, just a couple of fields that you, you don't want them to edit, or maybe, someone else is going to edit them in the back end later, or the Power Automate flow is going to edit those fields like a status field. Uh, those are great for JSON. That is a wonderful JSON uh, experience. But Power Apps, you can do so much more than that even. If you've got multiple data sources, you're using managed metadata, um, which can get complex in JSON, but it's easier in it's less difficult in Power Apps. <laughs> um, we have we have one like global data list on one of my clients that it's it's a site that has all of their global stuff, and it's got lists of people like who are the approvers for certain things or um, who are very specific roles that wouldn't necessarily be in your Outlook uh, in your Active Directory profile. Um, who are the travel coordinators? That's not a that's not a job title, so you're never going to find it in the Active Directory. But we have a list of those people, and so because that's in a specific site, and SharePoint can't do lookups across other sites, that's where the Power App comes in because that's super easy to to do an extra data source in Power Apps. Um, and then if you need to do again with those multiple data sources, you're updating multiple data sources, or you want to do more complex show and hide and and data manipulation you want to have different views um the power apps are the way to go with that and i checked the box on this one to respond just to say one thing see how far you can go with the json yes. try the simple first and when you hit that wall add the complexity on but you might be surprised like John, I didn't realize that JSON could give you read-only fields in mere, until mere moments ago when you said it could. So just see what you can do in as simple a way as possible before laying, layering on that complexity. But then, yeah, with the power platform at your disposal, I mean, you could do some wild and wonderful things, but then you have to support it. Right. <laughs> and that that is another concern is the support. Both of them look scary to an end user. But I'll tell mm -hmm. you, the JSON is going to look less scary than the Power App. See, yeah. Jason and I, we have a tenuous relationship. He stays over yeah. there. I stay <laughs> over here. 
And if his name well, pops up, I go, oh, I don't want to get into the relationship with him. You'll get involved with this Jason, whoever he is. Yeah. Mm, so, and, and what's the one great thing I was is add, you can preview it okay. right there. Sorry, yeah. you, you can preview the JSON right there. And the, the learn more button is right at the top. You hit you hit header, body, or footer. Any one of them, they all have the, the learn more button and they give you the code right there. See, and I then when you know want more start, advanced you say press code, the button, but I'm going <laughs> yep. so much well, in the end user world. <laughs> I, was, I was just gonna add that, you know, one of the things that is so wonderful about, you know, like look, you can go to YouTube for videos on anything, but there is so much mm. great content that walk you through how to do things like this. Um, yeah. I added in that description and got multiple hits back. Um, right. So I'll have to find some links, some uh, some examples that are out there. The Chris There's so Kent. many great resources. Yeah, the Chris Kent. Yeah. He presents well, all the awesome. time with Jason. Yeah. Yep. Well, I mean, there's, hey, there, there, you get people like, uh, uh, you know, Mark Anderson that's been talking about Jason for a decade. So, yeah, there's a lot. Yeah. A lot of people out there and especially if there's a you find an mvp that you like that has great content reach out to them now obviously there's some pushback if you're asking things that are certain level of complexity that crosses the line from some free advice and help and pointers versus you should be paying them for consulting hours um be careful about not crossing that line um or just be I mean, maybe you just need to hire somebody to sit with you for a couple hours and help you with something it's a lot cheaper than uh depending on how much your time is you know valued to to you your company um might be cheaper to to buy a you know jonathan's time a couple hours of his time as a consultant than spend a week dithering trying to figure stuff out but I'll back that up. MVPs are always happy to answer a question or two, point you in the right direction. Mike could get you unstuck or, you know, maybe you can arrange a little mentoring agreement or something. That's, that's what the community is there for. I, I was asked to put together a lunch and learn on basic in, like intro JSON. And, <laughs> uh, and I reached out to, to an MVP and said, hey, if I put the intro together, will you do the advanced class for me? And he looked at me and he said, what do you want to cover in the advanced class? And I was like, well, this is what I'm going to cover in the intro class. And he goes, that's everything. That's the whole thing. That's the whole class. <laughs> so I was like, oh. In the advanced so class, he just uses bigger words and looks down on you. At your, and like, types what quickly. What kind of question is that? <laughs> right, yeah. A little condescension. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so so Kirsty, I'd be happy to help you out with any of the JSON whenever that relationship pops up. Excellent. Um, yeah, <laughs> I need to go on a know. learning curve because you know Jason and I just I just see the word and I just go uh, uh, I won't touch that one. <laughs> and and I was like that for the longest time. Uh -huh. And uh, and and when I'm just talking about the form custom customization. When yeah. you get into list view customization, there are some crazy cool things you can do with JSON. I haven't really messed with that one, that side of it, um, mostly because I haven't had the need to. But I was an old um, JavaScript SharePoint form or SharePoint list modifying using the, the hillbilly code. I, I was mm -hmm. big into that with 2010 and 2013. And so moving over when I saw I could do the same concepts with JavaScript or with JSON. Um, mm -hmm. I, I thought, I think it's pretty cool that they've given us the, they've built it in for us. So we're not having to use that. What was it? The content editor web part. Yes. To redo <laughs> the entire screen. Yeah. 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 The JSON's good. Jonathan, right here. Look at the screen, Jonathan. This is my mask. <laughs>